Hey Podkids, uh, Happy New Year! So, to start off the year, we have some good news. We will now be available on all streaming platforms. So please tell all your friends, lahat ng mga umayaw because wala, ayaw nila ang Spotify. Uh, we're back in everything. Lastly, um, this episode, we we were actually apprehensive if we were going to talk about what happened to us. I don't know if you follow us on uh, Instagram, but yeah, we had a really, really bad experience. Um a life-threatening one at that. Um, and we talk about it. So, it's um, so, a But since this podcast is um, us talking about stupid stuff, we do do that. Uh, you can just skip to um, the timestamp. We'll put it on the show notes. Um, yeah, so at the start of the pod, we talk about what happened. And then eventually, we end up talking about God knows what. I think we talk about panties and chocolates. So here's the pod. Happy New Year. Welcome to the Podcast. Welcome 2024. Happy New Year. This is the first pod um, that is not exclusively on Spotify. Oh yeah, we are uploading it on all platforms. So it's all now. it's on, on it's on all platforms. So we tell, back. We back. <laughs> so tell all your friends. Uh, yeah, they can listen to us anywhere, watch us anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Right. So so you go to the start of the year. Let's talk about the elephant and the. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I appreciate all the pod kids. They sent me messages. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people got worried. I felt. A lot of love from you guys. Thank you so much. Um, for those who haven't heard, um, we experienced like a really traumatic event, which happened during a supposed quick vacation to Boracay. Our first time in since twenty since before we had kids, yeah. no? Before we got married, yeah. before we got married, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah. I mean, I didn't get to see. I didn't even get to see the sand. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, parang, man, grabe yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I I think yeah. I, I didn't even. Um, so I did not know I was experiencing heavy internal bleeding. Basta until it we, all went to literal shit. <laughs> well, you felt it in the plane. Yeah, I felt I felt something wrong. I didn't know it was internal bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Parang kumbaga. Prior to flying, because we got clear runs, because Sabna was kind of not feeling well, but checked their blood pressure and we checked with their doctor. Oh, everything was okay. Yeah. Her eyes were okay. Yeah. So it's possible that na, na what happened was anyway. When when uh, well, let's not go into it's super detail, but anyway, see si Sab felt it and then we got to Boracay. And you know, naman when you get there, it's not like you're there. Hindi yeah, siya yeah. You, it's stressful. We had two kids. Naghihintay ka pa ng boat. Yung Tapos boat. may shuttle. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah. And then, when we got to the hotel, kaya doon na ako nagtaka na, wow, there's something wrong here. Kasi parang you, you said like, oh my God, there's stairs. Tapos ako, wow. You really are yeah. not okay, ha? Huh? Yeah. Tapos parang, sabi Kasi niya. When we, when we disembarked from that short boat trip, hmm. Um, and then there, parang there was like five steps lang to get up to the port. Mm-hmm. Um, and then those five th- five steps, I had to hold on to Pancho Siaya. Because mm-hmm. I felt like I was really getting like dizzy. So I was like, oh wow. And then super palpitating. Um, me being myself, which is wrong, I always minimize what I'm feeling. Especially mm-hmm. if it's a parang an unwell thing. Parang laging, okay lang ako. I'm strong. I'm, kaya ko to. Like, I don't want to be an inconvenience. Um, I wasn't listening to my body. Not the right thing to do. And, ayun, when we got to the hotel, my, it wasn't five steps. It was like, uh, maybe like, 15 20, steps? 20. 15 to 20 steps? And then I asked them, I said, um, is there an alternative? Because, you know, and they kind of said like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, pero, I mean, I guess, I think I, I would like to correct lang yung you didn't listen to your body. Oh. I mean, like, 
man, like there were like you had a like you had a headache, you were feeling tired, you know? I mean yeah. gets ko naman. So I don't that's not your fault. You know, like I mean um I couldn't understand when when, when there's blood, when you you see blood, then yeah. okay. Yeah. Right? But yeah. you don't alam naman tayo, we don't necessarily go straight to I'm bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. so I am I just want to defend you okay. from you. Thank um you. so anyway, um that happened and then uh me and, and then Vito and I were swimming in the so beach. Nap ako, nap sa hotel. Up, and it was like the best Sorry, insert ko lang na the hotel was very helpful kasi when I did try to climb the stairs, um, I really like super palpitation. Uh, they used the wheelchair and helped me. They really helped me. And then, so we got to the hotel. I felt better. Got to the, to our room. Tas I took a nap. Kasi Sab just kept saying, kailangan ko lang ng saridon. Kailangan ko lang ng saridon. Ulo saridon ulo. Okay, so we got the saridon, drank it. Then mini Vito, we went to the beach. And Vito and I were like really freaking out, like because we were having such a great time. Like, oh my god, ang ganda mm. ng Pancho was napping. Kami ni Vito were like, whoa! And then antagal namin swimming. Sa ko, oh my gosh, sab kaya okay lang. Ko shit, na medyo na papraning ako, kasi like, but, you know, shit si sab na I was alone. Alone. So, um, anyway, and then divine intervention, nagbumagyo, sobrang bagyo. So to makbo me Vito back to the hotel room and then Sab was there and then she told me, Hey, I'm not feeling well. Like I can you said I can barely go to the bathroom. So mm. shit, okay. Called the hotel um Doctor. Doctor. Um and then Vito was super gulo. So I was trying to, you know, get him, paliguan mo siya. Paliguan ko, getting him ready. And then Sab just started saying, like, hey Jim, there's blood in the bathroom. And then I said, oh, shit, okay, okay, okay. And then I kept saying, sab, sab, sab. And then I heard a parang thud. And then she wasn't talking anymore. And I ran to the bathroom. Um, and you know, she, she like fell on me. And yeah, I think I hit my head on the bathroom stall door. And then uh, dead weight. Uh, she was vomiting while she was unconscious she was unconscious and it was the first time you know they you never you you know i i, I don't want to you know start on a bigot note but you never I think, think it's too late for that yeah you never <laughs> you never think uh you'd start you never think that you'd be in a situation uh you're screaming someone you're screaming at someone willing them to to live you know what i mean so and but, hey, we, but hey, it worked. It worked. Yeah, man. it was your screams that woke me up. Yeah, and so I carried Sab from the bathroom to the the door. Was screaming for help. Um, buti na lang Pancho si Aya Liza was so um, saying buhat ni si Pancho, and then she ran to the pool, called for help. Help came very fast. Um, and then Sab. When we opened the door, big oh, What happened? What happened? This, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, it was really like a movie. Yung parang pa, no seriously, parang siyang yung alam mo yung pagbarang may sumabog na bomb, tas parang wala kang marinig. Tas biglang you come to and then parang you start hearing stuff. Mm-hmm. Ganon siya. Tas mas tas meron na kong pain dito because nga I think I hit my head. And then I was like, it was like that. Na parang I heard what I all I heard was like. Too long, too long. And then it's like, hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And I saw Vito like super crying, like, mama. And then, um, Pacho had no idea what was going on. I think for him, it's like, yeah, yeah, just like run to the pool and like we're playing a game. Mm-hmm. I think that's what he was thinking. Um, but Vito, because I really saw you dragging me across the floor mm-hmm. and, you know, you panicking. Um, and so I was just, I remember just saying to the boys, like, I'm okay, I'm gonna be okay, I love you guys, it's fine. And then, tinulungan ako ng guys, and you guys, uh, wheelchair, and then got brought to an infirmary. Yeah, with a very, very kind doctor and like... Ang, sabi ang lupit ng Discovery Shores, Boracay. Grabe, Discovery Shores, we will never not go to you. 
when no. we go to Barangay. Grabe. Like, Grabe. I, can, I can't imagine and, if we had stayed somewhere else. And, and the thing is, uh, I know it's, a, of course, it's a premium hotel. This is not sponsored, by the way. I know, of, of course, it's, uh, you know, it's a, I know it's a premium hotel, pero grabe yung malasakit ng tao grabe. nila. Grabe. As in, sobrang mga, they did so many things na technically, Super by the book, beyond ha, their, ano. by the book, they did not need to do. They did not. So, anyway, brought Sab to an infirmary and, um, my God, it, <clears throat> it was small and <clears throat> she obviously needed blood. We were calling our doctors here in Manila and that they were saying, oh, she needs blood, she needs a transfusion. And we had no idea. There apparently there's no hospital in Katiklan. So anyway, ending is discover with the help of Discovery and you know my dad also helping out. Mm. Uh, we so Sab while losing blood uh, took another trip. So car. Thanks to the to the doctors in that small infirmary though. The doctor um, he and and the staff the the medical technicians and the nurses they were very. The, especially the women who helped me take mm. off my clothes and, you know, help clean me up from all the vomit and like, you know, other stuff. Like, and they, it was a small infirmary. It was not at all a premium. So, mm. talagang, um, hawak hawak nila yung mga cortina. So, brang very careful sila to give me my privacy and to make sure like nobody could see me. They were just that, that small act lang. It was just, it meant so much to me. And ano talaga, like, I, don't know, I, I just really fell in love with the people there. Especially, so, so what happened was we took a boat and then a two-hour, um, so again, there were no ambulances available. There was no boats available. Because mm. it was night na. Ba- bawal na daw mag-boat past 8 p.m. So, sinet- Buta tumigil yung, yung typhoon, typhoon ba storm? Yung storm. Um, yun nga, Discovery set it up. We got a boat. They we got a boat, happen. got an ambulance. Two hours on the road. Um, and on the way to Kalibo or Aklan, naka stretcher ako in, a, si Sab, in an ambulance. Walang signal, kahit anong signal, wala. As in not even to text or call for two hours. Tapos, we get to the hospital, thank God, it was a beautiful hospital. It was new and it was like, um, and as soon as we got in the ER, Dr. Torres, mm. Peter Torres, like the nicest doctor nice. you'd ever meet. Super nice. He was cool, calm, and he was so clear with instructions. Because sometimes, yun lang naman ang kailangan mo from a doctor. Eh. You know like, how it felt like? It felt like he was a really cool teacher. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, like, I would love him to teach my class. Parang <laughs> sometimes kasi, like, you know, and we've had our fair share kasi of trauma and hospitals and whatever. So, you know, whenever you encounter, like, well, number one, nurses are king. Mm. Nurses are the nicest and um eh ano parang laging magandang experience namin sa nurse mm. kasi may isang nakaaway yung meron tayong nakaaway sa then over pancho yeah, over pancho yeah. yeah i remember uh, anyway <laughs> um pero ner- in general except for that one nurse all nurses are godsend yeah um Anyway, so Peter Torres was so nice and sometimes yun lang naman ang kailangan sa doctor and I think they don't teach that in medical school. Yeah, yeah. Like how to... It's like, it's honestly, everything is crisis management naman eh. He's like, so, he was so clear about everything. Parang no, everyone knows and accepts na, okay, like no one can control mm-hmm. when it's when it comes to something like this. There's... Let go. Parang there's no control. Mm-hmm. We can't control anything. We can try. Pero... The, the thing you can control is how you communicate, how you manage mm-hmm. the family. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this doctor who was so freaking nice, mm. talked to me and my dad. And shout out pala to my dad who's 66. <laughs> he rode that boat. He rode the boat. He has night. a bad knee. And anyway. Um, Took the two-hour trip to the hospital and stayed for two days to be with Jim and me. And so sweet. Like he, he refused to go back. He wanted to make sure we were okay. So, Dr. Torres was so sweet and um, he b- pretty much said like, this is the situation, this is what we're going to find out, and this is what we're going to do. So anyway, cut to great hospital staff. Sab was in the ICU for two and a half days. Now, ito na. Last I, had, like, I was transfused with like seven bags of blood. Yeah. And then the last part of our trip, okay, 
Eh, ito na. No, f- last part of part one of our trip. Last part one. Oh. Here we go. So, on the day na, okay, Sab is recovered na, she got back her blood. Yeah. A little rosy cheek action. Yeah. Parang, so we were like, oh my God, okay. We're ready to fly to Manila and then do her surgery. FYI to everyone, Sab kasi has had history of gastric bleeding. Mm. Okay. And um, so we kind of had suspicions on what it was. So we, the doctors here in Manila knew na, oh, fly her back, we'll do the surgery now. Mm. Okay. So anyway. Um, Thank goodness pa kasi if, if, if my blood levels were not going, were not normalizing, they were going to do the surgery in Aklan. And that was, for we, me, that was scary because I already knew the the surgeon that I wanted to do my, I know. Pero for sure, they would have been capable. But it's still scary, especially I didn't have my family there. But anyway, also, so yun, also, I, I had. Also, shout out to Doc J. Hippolito, yeah. our surgeon. Yeah. Um, this guy from here in Manila. is a freaking surgeon who, you know, has n- not a single minute off. Mm, yeah. Always in surgery. Mm. But for some reason, was messaging me the whole time. Mm. Like I would give Sab's blood pressure minute by minute mm. and he'd reply. Mm. Grabe, what a blessing. Anyway. I love Doc J. Uh, it was me and the Shout I- out to Doc Buenaflor yeah. from Asia Pacific Medical Center in Aklan. So the day that we were gonna fly, he, uh, yun nga, biglang, apparently may pneumonia pala yeah. si Sabba. So can so, I can I tell the, this part of the mm, story? So, mm. so Dr. Bernaflor is the pulmonologist. Um, I needed his clearance for us to be able to fly commercially back to Manila, which we were super like, we were booking tickets na. Mm-hmm. Like the next day, we were like, yay, we're gonna get cleared na because my blood levels are getting normal na so we can fly back to Manila, get the surgery done. Biglang, boom, the pulmonologist is like, um, excuse me, no, you can't fly commercial because you actually have pneumonia. Mm-hmm. Like there's um, fluids in your in your lungs because you aspirated, which means it was because I was vomiting when I was unconscious. Nagkaroon ako ng stuff in my lungs and whatever. So the, 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 the fear was that I would have a hard time breathing. So I needed an oxygen tank. So hindi ako pwede mag-commercial flight. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan namin kumuha ng air ambulance. Like an mm-hmm. airlift situation. Like, and mm-hmm. Jim and I were thinking of like, what, like a helicopter? And then like, I'm gonna hang... When you when you hear airlift, you know, parang naisip ko parang on a stretcher, like when you get when you have to get rescued from Mount Everest or something. Right? Pero yun talaga yung naisip namin, ano, nasa infirmary tayo. They, they, that, that, that's what we were planning. Na dun pa lang, i-airlift oh, yeah. ka na. Oh, yeah. Honestly, like, I think that, that was the, that, that was all we were trying to do. Yeah. Like, fly you from that yeah. Little infirmary in Katiklan to Manila. Anyway, My so the one thing that um, the reason kung bakit kami kailangan mag air ambulance is kailangan ng oxygen tank. Hmm. Okay. So I want to shout out also, and I, I know because we are filled with so much gratitude and so Thank many heroes God. and angels um, for keeping Sab alive, and one of them is Grace. Yeah, yeah. And Nep. Nep. Okay. We're not gonna say where they where they're from, but no, they're from Eagle Planners. What's that? That's their agency. Is that her business? That's her business. That's her business, Grace. Eagle Planners. Really, that's hers. That's hers. Really? Yeah, I love her. Okay, love her so much. Okay, Grace has say is literally our Grace. <laughs> She's the sweetest. She's and the like, sweetest person, and. Alam mo, dapat igas na sa pod kasi wild rin yung story nun, na. At wild rin magbenta. <laughs> anyway. So, and, and and legit though, I mean, if I know you guys don't know about insurance, pero I'm or, or you're at an age now you don't really care about it, pero like this guys, like this fucking airlift was around six hundred thousand pesos, and you know because we were insured, and by the grace of grace <laughs> and the grace of God, she made it <laughs> and the happen. The grace of nip. <laughs> at, at, at the same, parang the next day, ready na got a got a plane. Okay. So in the small plane, Sab was already having a panic attack, and she doesn't usually have those. And I could see it. In Can I say scene. why? Why? Because the night before, I woke up at two a.m. from a wild nightmare. So it was Sam Milby hmm. flying a plane, and then he, f- he flew a pa- plane to Snagland. I wasn't in the plane, but I was like, "Yay, he did it!" On top of a building, I don't know why Snagland yung plane don. 
And then biglang, it just exploded. Mm-hmm. And then like, debris everywhere and we were affected and like, it was pretty wild. Imagine w- waking up at 2 a.m. and I was like, <sighs> and we're supposed to take <laughs> a flight <laughs> the next day. Um, so yeah, uh, I have to say I was a little like, ano eh? Hindi, weird eh. Tinan Jim. <gasps> it's making sense to me now. Kasi nga, I feel like I'm a little bit clairvoyant. Mm. I am. Mm. I am. So for me, I don't take these things lightly. Pag may ganun, parang try, something's trying to tell me something, you know? May, may something. May, there's something that's wrong. Mm. Tell them what happened. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So we get to the airfield. Oh, like, oh my God. We're in a fucking airfield. Yeah, like, it was I pretty wild. Never, th- never thought that this would happen. So um, <laughs> we were in the airplane. Sab was kind of panicking. And then... But calming down. Na. Calming down. I was like, Sabi, ko, okay lang. Gusto mo yung earbuds mo. I'm going to say to calm myself down. Sabi ko, Jim, I feel like I'm just pretending I'm Kim Kardashian on a private chat. <laughs> yeah, when Sab said that, I was like, oh, okay, good, good. Okay. I was siya. facing the pilot. God bless those pilots. Um, there were two. And then I didn't know what's happening behind me. So Jim could see what was behind me. And I saw that they were scrambling. So like parang hinahanap. And alam mo yung alam mo yung mga taong naghahanap pero alam mo wala namang wala na. Alam alam mo yeah. <laughs> alam mo yung vibe na that person like trying to look for something yeah. and has officially given up. His yes. soul has given up. Pero Check ko lang yung video. He's just alam mo nag 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 uh, ano tawag doon? Nag he's scrambling. Scrambling still nagtatanggal-tanggal ng shit, ganyan. You wanna stop it first? And then record it again? No, stop it. I stop it. Oh, you did. Oh. So, um, so, you know, you, when when you have someone like scrambling, looking for something, and you know, na, okay, wala na. Mm. That was the face of the guy. Yeah. I was like, okay, sige. Then the plane started moving. Okay? taxi na siya. It was moving na. And then I said to the girl behind... The doctor. Sab. Which I didn't know was a doctor mm. at the time. Sexist, okay. No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, kasi okay. I didn't know who these people were. They I didn't introduce it. themselves. All, I'm kidding. So, parang, like, I thought they were part of the crew or mm. what? I don't know. So, and then, sabi ko, hi, um, hindi pa ba siya magmamas? Kasi, I didn't say this, but at the point of this whole yeah. thing was she needed needs oxygen. She said, Meron, meron naman. Mm-hmm. And this was after nakikita ko na nga na aimlessly looking for shit. Mm-hmm. So, yun na. Bumibilis na yung plane. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, we're gonna fucking fly. Mm-hmm. And ako talaga, it's a very Filipino thing. We talked about this, right? Na parang even if your life is in danger, mm-hmm. you might stop yourself from saying like, um, sir. Yeah, diba? yeah, yeah. It's a thing. I decided na I will not let that happen. So I said, "Ma'am, meron bang oxygen o wala?" And then she grabs an onion oxy- oximeter. Oximeter. Oximeter, I don't know. And puts it on Sab's finger and says, "Sir, wala, pero okay lang naman 97 naman yung O2 niya." Ah, so she said wala. She said wala. Ah. And then psycho And then it was like a movie, na talagang I was that we were screaming at the pilots like Sir, sir, stop, 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 stop. And I couldn't help it, man. Like, I asked, like, sabi ko, sabi ko, bakit ka nagsisinungaling? Tangkira! Yeah, bakit di makusapin yung piloto? Oh, sabi ko, pati di mo sabihin na wala, na, 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 na sir, para, ay, well, teka, teka. And uh, nakakatawa, ang tagal nating nakatambay yeah, doon na 20 yeah. minutes, not uh, moving. Uh, you could have said, like, sir, wait lang, ha? Uh, and I, gave you two chances. The first time yeah. I asked, you could have said, Wait actually, sir, you're not enough. Because if you said it that in yeah. that during that time, I could have said, sir, sir, I could have helped yeah, you because yeah. maybe you're ka. <laughs> I could have told, I could you have... You can't help me because your job is to take care of the patient. I, I, so we, can't, we can't be on the... We can't be in the air and not have what you... And I only need... I wasn't... Imagine if I was a different patient. I only needed an oxygen tank and the, the mask. So what happened was, my oxygen tank, pero walang cannula, walang mask. So ano gagawin ko sa oxygen so tank? So I could have... I could have said to the pilots, like, Sir, ma'am, wait lang ha. Oh. Ano? But this doctor chose to... F- this... Again, I repeat, this doctor who yeah. took a fucking oath. Yeah. You know, so it's weird. your responsibility yeah. 
as a doctor, you this this was the main thing that was yeah. turned over to you. And I was there, I saw it, I yeah. witnessed it, and Dr. Buena, Buena Flor, Flor of uh, Asia Pacific Asia Pacific just kept reiterating in front of us. Ma'am, oxygen po ang kailangan ng pasyente. Yes, oxygen. oxygen po ang kailangan. So, this doctor, sorry, naputol. Um, so, this doctor, sinabi na nga na, oxygen lang ang kailangan. So, I actually asked her, I said, are you a doctor? Mm. And she was like, yes. I said, like, that is the one thing. Yeah. That is the one thing you're supposed to be you know, that's the one, parang like, oh, what? as a doctor, you actually decided, you were making a conscious choice to fly when a fellow doctor who has treat, who was treating this person turned this patient over to you and said that this person needs oxygen and cannot fly a commercial flight. So, talagang movie. <sighs> anyway, I guess... We were able to get the, the mask from the previous hospital. Yeah. We had to go back and the is it is it tarmac uh, field mm. whatever mm. and we were able to get it from the ambulance that we rode to the airport and ayun we were able and to fly we got to fly got here in manila and dami pang nangyari but you know <sighs> um thank god sab is fine we spent christmas eve and christmas day at the hospital but jim and i were just so grateful to just be together be alive. And thank you so much to Jim's family, my family, um, for taking care of our kids. Sobrang, uh, that was a big, I mean, at least we didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I think, and when we talked about it, we said, I, I really like what you said, na parang, I remember I said like, hey, paano to? should we just make the kids come to the hospital? Mm. For Christmas, Christmas Day, Eve, Christmas, Christmas Day, Day, and then Sab said like, you know, every day is Christmas for us. So, My face was like, "Ti." Hey. So, <laughs> I think which is what, and ako the whole time naman, nakakatawa. I guess this, if, if there's anything na mapulot kayo mm. <laughs> from this, uh, something I'd like to share. Like prior to this, this was a big production number, kasi okay, like family was flying from Sydney. Mm gonna go, come this here. This trip was planned like for six months. Yeah. And lots of, you know, you know the pressures of, you know, big families and, you know, a big trip. And I was having a bunch of anxiety attacks and I needed to really prepare. And I was really preparing myself for this trip, making sure that the proper things <sighs> happen. And, you know, that was my thing. Everything revolved around, you know, my sisters coming home and making sure they had a good time. Mm-hmm. That was it. Mm-hmm. And then this happened, you know. And I did not for once think about, like, um, like you know, the hotel, the, yeah. the, 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 the food or mm-hmm. anything. And I guess it, it really puts things into perspective. Nga, na parang, it's true. Like, parang all these holidays and all these things, they're honestly worth less if... Parang, sorry, not funny. They're meant to celebrate and it's... They're meant... <laughs> they're meant to celebrate moments with the people you love. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. That's what they are. Yeah. They're... And you can easily forget that. Yeah. And uh, I th- yeah. That's last, sorry. Like, I know... We joke about it all the time. There are many family reunion a hassle seeing these. And siguro, I guess for the next one, just think of and put parang focus your spotlight on the people you do love. Mm-hmm. And like, oh shit, okay, I haven't seen this person in whatever. Because mm-hmm. yun 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 sa atin. We focus our spotlight on the negative mm-hmm. instead of the positive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also want to note that even if you are not physically together, um, if you're not able, like you and I were because we were in the hospital, um, and we also had a trip planned to go to go out of town after Boracay um, to celebrate Christmas itself. And we we had to tell our family, like, please, ituloy nyo with, and bring our kids with you. Um, and for me, even if you're not physically together, it's just me and Jim 
parang our love for the family you now we trust them with our kids to be with them and take take that trip and you know and then their love for us na they'll take care of our kids because we can't be there for them and parang that's a celebration that's, even that's, if we're not together physically and i uh, tama i guess yun parang that's what family is for and yeah. i think that it's like it's a great way to a gr- not a great way but that was our <laughs> celebration celebrating yeah. that we had people in our lives that mattered and would help us no matter what yeah yeah okay so now to the stupid shit okay meron pa may phone din phone my phone there Okay, gotta knock these out of the. Eh, one episode, but I'm I'm okay, no. Sige, sige. Para ito What do you think? Sige, one episode, game, game, game. Okay. Yeah, quick okay. lang naman to. Game. Just wanna knock these out to start the year. Ah, meron ako na kagatoy sa labo. Hmm. Yung you went to a coffee shop tas walang kape. This is true. <laughs> Nuka ano na naman? Anyway. Hmm. So I went to Starbucks. Hmm. Uh, near St. Luke's. Mm. So I go, hi, um, one hot Americano. This yung response ng barista was, uh, we don't have coffee. <laughs> so I go, <laughs> is this real life? So I go, like, wait, so I go, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah we, we don't have coffee. We only have cold brew and something. So I go, and nakakatawa kasi parang hindi niya nagigets yung Irony of the yeah. situation. Yeah. She was just very like, yeah, wala kami kape. Yeah. Bakit? Ano problem? <laughs> Anong gano'n? Like, so? Yeah. So, I was so, like, eh, ganyan. Para kang you know, pancake I, uh, house no ng pancake. Eh, hindi naman. Uh, it's called pancake house. If sabi mo wala kang pancake, parang, huh? Hindi, mas pasok kang Max's fried chicken na wala kang chicken. Oh, same. That's the same. <laughs> But yeah, Why? Why are you making finding okay. it weird with pancake house? Because it's like it's it's called pancake. But no one orders pancakes. I pancake order ko. pancakes. Out of 10 people, na maglata ka ng sampung tao jan, and you say, "Punta ang pancake house." Ano orderin mo? Ano tayo mas sabi niya? <laughs> pancake. <laughs> <laughs> ano mas sabi niya? Chicken. Chicken. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Masarap naman talaga pero pancake taco. rin. Taco. Best taco in town. <laughs> It's like saying, um... Gugutom ako, tama na. Anyway. Oh, anyway, walang kape. That was weird. Sobrang... And then he was like... Tapos ako, sa, sinabi ko talaga, sa'yo ko, you, you do know this? Kasi again, I... I, I pinatulan mo? I, I didn't, di ako nakipag-away. Ang point ko is, like, I was there, like, I was in the operating room for like four hours yeah. waiting for sub. So went to Starbucks for a cup of coffee. This like... Sa'yo ko, you know that's weird, right? Like, this is Starbucks. Tapos wala kayong kape? Sabi niya, walang water eh. Sabi ko, Ano yung sabi niya? Di ba sinabi niya? Parang may cold brew naman eh. Parang, parang sabi niya, there's, there's may cold brew, may tea. <laughs> Pero kape. Yeah. It's like you, like punta kang globe. Tapos parang, um, pwede pa gawa ng line? Oh, wala kaming ganun. <laughs> <laughs> pwede pa kapit ng internet? Why? Why? Wala, wala. Wala net. Wala. Wala net eh. Anyway, that's wala. one. Um, number two. Ah, ito. Question to start the year. Okay. And I need a really good answer. Okay. Ano ba ang Marks and Spencers? It's Marks and Spencer. <laughs> oh, yan. Okay. Okay. I know Get what, your brands right. I know what Marks and Spencer is. Marks and Spencers. <laughs> it's an easy, oh uh, no, it's an easy no, no, no. I, I mistake guess, to make. Point you have feeling. I'm like, yeah. No, no, no. no. I, 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 and this is a legit question. Okay, I'm not, well. hindi ako nagagago. Mm-hmm. Ano siya? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, ako, sino si Mark? Sino si Spencer? Dalawa talaga sila. I believe so. It's like Johnson and Johnson. Hindi ko naman ganun eh. Huh? Ang Johnson and Johnson? Dalawang Johnson yun. Hindi ko rin alam. Sino? Larry? <laughs> Don. <laughs> Larry at Kevin. <laughs> Who's Kevin Johnson? Basketball player? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Marks and Spencer. 
I have fond memories there. Because as a wait, uh, what's the answer growing... first? Before you answer, I don't know What is it's it? It's a store. What is it? Well, everything's a store. It sells clothing and no, no, what is food. It? What is it? It's a retail store. Everything, everything is retail. I mean, no. McDonald's is not retail. But but uh, but uh, 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 oh, oh, you can't wait, say wait, everything wait, is so, retail. So uh. you can say Apple is Apple is a yeah, it, yeah is, it is. It is. It, it is. is. Pero canon, it's it's is it in the same ano, Is Lini Apple... Linear retail store? Yes. Oh, you know what? Exactly. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> pero, pero is, is, is Apple. So why are you questioning like so what is Ani yung Lini Linear? We're uh, <laughs> a retail store. No, no, no. I don't know. I'm just challenging. Po lang. What is it? It is a clothes. It's a it's a retail store that specializes in. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. One. <laughs> one, one thing lang. It's is no, it gym, a, literally it's like. Is it a fact? Wait, so it's about when H and M sells the same stuff. There's home stuff. There's clothes. There's kid stuff. Does Asian have food? They don't have food. No, well, yeah, so there. But this one has food. Oh, but what is it? I don't get your question. I don't really get it. I don't get it. I think ano every siya? pod kid will agree with me when what I say that. What do you na, mean? No one gets. I get it. That's where I it? bought... Okay, growing up, that's where my mom bought me all of my underwear and pantulo. Putong ina naman. Bakit? So shy. I know, right? Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I swear. What the fuck? What can we buy in a panty, dude? Excuse me. What do you mean? You could just fucking use lampin. I come on, Jim. Oh wow, big lang ano ano cowboy ka ganon. <laughs> hindi ako hindi ang brief ko hindi Marks and Spencer. <gasps> I'm, I'm sorry, that was like, that was one of the few Why? luxuries that my Why? mom wanted me and my sisters Why? to have. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not, hindi ko ginagago. That was our bonding thing. Okay, hindi ko ginagago yung brand. I'm sorry. Like, five pack ng na mga nice ko underwear. What is it? That's what it is. Ano for me, ano it, ba siya? Anghel? For me, Anghel ba siya? For me, it's good memories and they make for really good um, gift bags. Oh, pero ano siya? I, I mean, uh, cherub. Cherub. <laughs> Cherub. <laughs> Andi ko gets. Anong sabihin mo? Ni ano siya? <laughs> it's some brand. I'm not gonna get triggered by this. <laughs> Moving on. Nili <laughs> last, last. I, ang, ang point ko lang naman is, so it's a clothing brand. Like, And I wanna shop there, huh? I I, I do. I well, wanna, now you can't. I wanna make it my... Now you can't. I wanna make it this my... This is making Marks and Spencer blacklist I wanna us. make my daddy fits... Okay. Care of Eminist. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, you're gonna get Papa Jerry some stuff. I really wanna do I really wanna become daddy fit. Like daddy daddy fight. Honestly, I've never looked at the men's clothing there. So Steady. Mero na kung napuntang dalawang MS, pero walang air kun pareho. Kaya ayo mag shopping. Hindi, sa ribis. Walang air kun. Hunt ang ganang now. I ch- I dare you, pod kids. Go to MS in Libis. Walang aircon. Yun yung pi- that's what pisses me off. Mga brands, mga sto- mga mall. Mahal. Na yung mall yung may kasalanan, na, diba? Hindi, <laughs> it's not even in the mall. Huh? Para ma- centralized yung aircon eh. Kasi yung, <laughs> yung HM sa Uptown Mall, grabe. Oh. Talagang parang. Oh, nga. Grabe, parang ako. Oh, nga. Isang taon na to naka- oh, naka-electric fan lang tayo dito, ah. Oh, nga. Well, gagawa na, ano? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Fast fashion, na. <laughs> Alright, next. <laughs> Last. About m I just really wanted to ask. What? Like, gets ko, sarap ng pajamas niya, gets. I just really, parang, nagulat lang ako kagabi, na parang, bakit di may manok? Huh? Pum- kasi we pumunta kami kahapon. Uh, may manok. You mean like in the fridge? May manok sa m it's just like healthy options, Jim. May damit ba sa? There's like beauty stuff there. Why? Hindi pero at least clear kasi ang aning definition healthy options and the branding. No 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 wait 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 The branding kasi is clear eh. healthy options right? I need to Google it for H&M, the sake of H and M home and and what home and merchandise m- home and merch. You may say it, ba? That's what does H and M mean? Honson and Monson. Men, 
<laughs> Ayan, oh. Welcome. Uh, what is MNS most famous for? Oh, sorry. What is MNS most famous for? Arguably, MNS has historically been an iconic retailer of British quality goods. That's what it is. Oh, but, but go. where in the name do you see that? Like where in... You know what, Jim? It can be whatever you want it to be because their Nakatawa. slogan... Nakatawa. Their slogan is, the customer is always and completely right. <laughs> ano ba? Wow, that's the slogan? That's their... You need just do it. Na, the customer is always right? <laughs> that's their slogan? That's Nike, what, just do it. Said. Um, ano ba tawag dito? Um, BDO, we find ways... MNS, the, the customer is always right. <laughs> See, it's founded by Michael Marx and Thomas Spencer. Ang mga, mga kano. <laughs> Hindi nga British nga eh. <laughs> Kulit eh. <laughs> Don't hate on MNS. Yeah. Pero, oh. pero wild yun. Bumili ako ng chocolate. Kasi nag-crave ako for their chocolates. Mm. That's what why we were there last night. And then, so last night, uh, as we're recording this, last night means January 2. Mm. And then, parang, nung binibili ko na, it's like, expiration date, January 23. Ah. And I'm like, wow, that's soon. Ubus na. Ubus na. <laughs> <laughs> but like, wow. That's pretty close. Kaya nga, parang, I just wonder, like, parang, in the history of mankind, I just want to ask. Okay. okay. In the history of mankind, what has there any, has anyone ever in the history of the world and humanity uh -huh. said, "Oh my God, I need to, I need, I need this, and therefore I need to go to M and S." That's what I fucking did last night, Jim. I needed the chocolate. What <laughs> face? Hindi. <laughs> Hindi ah. And their biscuits are good. Really? So, parang and their panties. <laughs> <laughs> last, last, last. Last na to end this. Tsaka yung pajamas na sobrang wild. Tsaka grabe yung quality. Jim, these pants I'm wearing! Oh. oh! So these joggers that I'm wearing, I'll show them for those who are watching the video. I love these joggers. Oh, oh we have a guest. Oh, hi, Bunny! And Jim loves them too. Huh? Come here, sweetheart. Do you want to join us? Yeah. On our podcast? Okay. Thank you. Sorry, we just need okay. being... We Thanks. just we just got a burrow. You but now... Huh? We're, just practicing, we're just practicing with... Wake up with Vito. Oh, oh yeah. You want to practice? practice? Yes. Okay. But he forgot the let's camera. Oh, we got to reset the camera Ooh. and then record the audio? Oh, no. How about you say... See you on the next episode. See, see, see you on the next episode. See you on the next episode. Bye. But I thought we want to say hi to each other. I know. We just <laughs> want to wake up with Vito. Okay, all right. See you guys soon. Bye.